Saturday, beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Stacey Elaine. I've become a thickums, and we trying to get back right and tight, honey. So my goal is to lose 20 pounds, 20 whole pounds. And I want to do so by September when I go to Vegas. And so I got to get to it. I got to, I've been working out like every day. I worked out starting, I started on Tuesday. I worked out Tuesday, Wednesday. I didn't work out on Thursday because I had to give a executive team presentation at like eight o'clock in the morning. So I left to go into the office at 6.45 a.m. So that was a little, that was a little early, I'm sorry. And I was too tired to work out that night. I was back in the bed and asleep at like 8.45 p.m. I was tired. Um, I worked out yesterday, which is Friday, and now it's Saturday. I will tell you guys, oh my goodness, uh, Wednesday was my godson's birthday. He turned five. So today he's having a party at this bouncy bear place. So I have to take him his gifts um, because I'm God mommy and God mommy's job is to spoil, spoil, spoil. Let me just tell you and I take my job seriously for the spoiling, okay? And this is actually one of the first years that I'm buying him like a toy because ever since his first birthday, I've been buying him stocks for his birthday. But now he really plays with them. I know last Christmas I bought him a remote control car. So I bought him some more toys. And then Thursday, his birthday was Wednesday. Thursday was my father's birthday. My father is having a get together today for his birthday. Even though I did, I took my father out to dinner. We went to Gatlin's. Hold on. Hi, Pooh. <laughs> we went to Gatlin's Fins and Feathers, a new restaurant that opened here in Houston by Pitmaster um, Rob Gatlin and family. The food was amazing. The service was slow, but I expect slow service when I go out to eat nowadays. I do think the prices were premium um, for two appetizers, two wines, and three meals. It was like $200. So that was that. Um, and then... Let's see, Friday, my boyfriend's birthday. <laughs> so I gave him his birthday gifts on yesterday. And um, tomorrow after church, I will take him out to eat because he's been doing community ministry. <laughs> oh, you are basically eating my sunscreen off, stop. <laughs> he, he's doing community ministry and he's doing evangelism today. And plus we're going to my father's thing. So... Tomorrow, we'll deal with him, and then we'll get, like, many petties, and that will be a wrap for the birthday weeks, for the birthday boys, and in light of all of this, I am still trying to stick to my diet, no fried food, no bread, and reducing my total carbohydrates um, by a lot, and... Um, you know, reducing my saturated fat by a lot. So we are going to stick with it. I'm gonna go walk the dog and then we're gonna come clean up this room, honey. And, but today I will show you what I got from the Nordstrom anniversary sale and a couple pieces that I got from Anthropology as well for, you know, this body, this iteration of the body, which I think what I bought will work even when I lose weight because you guys know I believe in a good set of alterations to make something work so if I buy it now and I lose 20 pounds and I need to go down a size I'm not I'm not afraid of that so we're gonna go walk the dog and work out we have no makeup on because we gonna get 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 it this is just sunscreen that he's basically licked off this side of my face but we're gonna get it that's why i have my sunglasses on because we have to focus on our health and that's what we're starting with right now let's go you can do it too
You can do it, girl. Anybody else need to lose 20 pounds with me? Let's do it. I will leave the link below of the workout that I do. It is from YouTube, as you can see. As you can see, it's a real workout because I am dressed in sweat. I need more water, but let's take a shower and then I'll show you the Nordstrom haul with anthropology pieces as well. Let's go. This is the look of the day. So I am trying to preserve these braids for one more week and then I can take them out. This weekend is just so busy. I just don't have time. So I think I will take them out on Thursday night and Friday morning and then get my hair done on Friday midday. I already made the appointment. So I got to I got to take the braids out this week. So this is a top from Intermix that I've had for a couple years. The shorts are from Ann Taylor. They are a little big in the waist, but I still rock with them. The shoes are Melissa brand, and I picked them up from Nordstrom. And I'm wearing my Louis Vuitton cross set. I thought it would accentuate the look very nicely. So... Oh, and the sunglasses are from the Tabitha Brown collection with Target. And that's the look of the day, how I'm going out in the streets. And I will see you guys later because no, I have not done the Nordstrom portion of this vlog. But I will later. I promise. I promise I will. All right, finally, we have come to the meat of this vlog, which is the hauls. I'm going to start with the anthropology pieces that I picked up. I'm only going to show the anthropology pieces that I kept because I did order a couple other tops that came back and they look like they were for teeny boppers and that's not my lane. Like they were just teeny, teeny, tiny, small. So those went back, but I am keeping this top and I know you're like, girl, it's for a teeny bobble. What are you doing? But I'll show a picture of how it was styled on the site. I absolutely loved it. In one of the last vlogs, I showed you a BP by Nordstrom top that is a white tank and it has a blue like piece like this sewn onto the tank top. And I said, you know, this probably is the last year I'll be able to wear it. Not because the blue piece is raggedy, but the white tank is like getting really, really raggedy. And unfortunately, that means a really great top has to go off to like a landfill, which is a shame. So I was like, if I just buy the piece, I can always just throw it over a tank top. And I loved how this was worn over a black or white tank. I think it'll look so beautiful for the fall. And even put it over a button down, like and wear it in the office. I think it'll look so, so fresh. So this is a piece that I am keeping. I'm keeping it <laughs> and uh, you'll see it in a future uh, Let's Get Dressed video. Another piece that I got is for Las Vegas. So we are going to Las Vegas to see Usher in concert in about six weeks. And so I was thinking I've worn like everything in my wardrobe to death between Cancun and St. Martin and Houston. And so I only picked up this one tank top. It is a Razorback, which is very new for me. I don't normally wear Razorbacks, but I am a sucker for a bow. And I don't wear red at all, like at all, at all. Blue, green, yellow, yes. Red, no. But I'm trying this 
And I thought this was like a cherry red that would go better with my skin tone. So we will try this tank. I think it looks really cute. I'll show you what it looks like in the model. And I got a size large. I actually think I could have gotten a size medium in this. But, you know, I was just like, hey, I've gained weight. I'm not going to front and then have to send it back and all that. So I just got a large and I think it's okay. I actually think this would actually be a really cute top to wear over like a white button down as well. And then in the back, the bow will show. So you can style it a couple different ways, even though I bought it to go to the desert. And then when I took the two teeny bopper pieces back to the store... I found a replacement and <laughs> y'all are just gonna flip out but I bought some what is the brand of these jeans it it just says pill crow I you know I'm a sucker for a light denim okay so let's just get that out of the way but I got these low-rise flares I know and I know you like girl if you got a belly why you got low-rise jeans but this is this is also my dilemma I'm short-waisted and when you're short-waisted you have big boobs and now I have a belly it's not enough space for all of that to go on and so I really just need to give these high-waisted jeans a break because I feel like it, they like under my boobs and uh, it's just it's too much when I put these on, they actually, because I have such a short waist, they actually come to my real waistline. Like, they're actually a little above my belly button. They're not low, low waisted. But I love the wash. I loved how they fit in the thighs. I got a size 30, which is normally like a size 10. But these are so big in the waist, like two sizes too big. So they actually have to go and get altered so that they can fit in the waist because they're like not working right now. I have the gap and all of that. But I will say these are worth it. I picked them up for like... They were $80 and then it was 50% off this. So I got these for $40. And I think I don't ever really buy jeans for $40. And then it'll take maybe $8 to take in the weight. So they'll just be $48. And I think that was worth it. So these are the jeans that I got. Super, super light wash. This is like the lightest wash I have other than my white jeans. But I like these. All right, now for the Nordstrom anniversary sale items, I want to tell you, I did not go super, super crazy. And it's because Nordstrom is already having a sale to try to get rid of inventory. So they were having the half yearly sale at the exact same time that they were having the anniversary sale. And most of the items looked very similar. I think the Nordstrom anniversary sale is great if you need some basics or if you're looking for key pieces, you're looking to replace some things that have worn out that you already owned that you know that Nordstrom will sell every year. But I do think this sale is getting a little boring like the fashions weren't like the math wasn't mathing, okay? Like, it wasn't hitting for me. There were a couple things that I was specifically looking for that I did not find in this sale, like a suit um, and some more fall professional pieces. Did not find that in the sale. But I will tell you that I did luck up in the shoe department. And so, actually, first, I'm going to show you what... Um, I got just on sale. This was not in the anniversary sale. So the first thing is something that I have been wanting to try forever and ever, and it is a beauty product. It's the Dior Lip Glow Oil. I love this, love this. So my favorite lip products are by Marc Jacobs and Dior. Like those two are my faves. So this is the shade Cherry. And this is what it looks like on this little wand. And I have a mirror here. I can't look it on. Oh. 
and this is what it looks like on my lips. I think it is absolutely beautiful. I have been wearing it nonstop since I got it. I actually love putting the lip oil on top of my lip balm, also by Dior, that I bought by accident. <laughs> um, but then I kept because it's the best lip balm I've ever had. So bougie, I know, but I'm just going to say, I just really love Dior lippies. Like, look at this. It makes the lips look luscious, right? Mm. Like, y'all see, y'all see that look? And it's just a lip oil. Love it. So the second thing that I purchased, it was just on sale, is a new winter cap. It is by Open Edit. It was regular price $29 and I bought it for $8.70. Now I am someone who does not play in the winter. Like I have my winter hats, my gloves. I, and this spring and summer, I have purchased two jackets for fall and winter. I've purchased, you'll see some boots later. And so I also knew I needed a winter hat. I thought this one was beautiful with these rhinestones on it. And for $8.70, y'all, I couldn't beat that. So I got a new winter hat. And then also for fall, I got this multicolored, all primary colors, flannel top. Now, it's supposed to be oversized, but they didn't have a medium um, or a large. And so I picked up a small, and the small fits like a medium because it's oversized. So I just will wear mine probably over a camisole, a white bodysuit. These are colors that I love. Again, yellow, blue, green, and gray. These are probably the most um, popular colors in my wardrobe and to have them all in one top, I thought was really cute. And so I can wear this you know, with jeans in the office, or I can wear it on the weekends. And so I really like this top and it was on sale, I think for $19. So I picked it up. Actually, I just looked at how much I paid for this. It was $16.97, so even less than the $19. Yeah, but this was great. If you know me, you know that I like a clean counter. I don't like clutter on my counter and I don't like things in plastic containers like that just look really bad on the counter. So I picked up the Quip Plastic Mouthwash Dispenser Starter Kit. This was on sale for $10 and I just thought it was so streamlined. This is the cup that you would dispense the mouthwash into. So fixed it. Okay. So the only thing I can already tell you I won't like about this is you have to um, concentrate your own mouthwash. And so you put like water in it after you dispense it. And I don't want to do all of that. So I'm probably just going to use my regular mouthwash in this bottle and just put it in here. But this is all that will sit on my um, cabinet and not a huge bottle of mouthwash. So I also picked this up and it was on sale for $10 and I couldn't beat that. And I won't show them, but I also, oh, these are my birthday gifts to my boyfriend. And I got a couple of them from the Nordstrom sale as well. I picked him up these Carrera eyewear. Now he has them on, so I can't show you what they look like. I'll try to steal a picture from the internet, but they were on sale like super duper and he needed some black frames, especially before we go to Vegas. And so I picked those up for his birthday. And then I also picked him up this YSL uh, Yves Saint Laurent men's um, perfume kit. Um, it was a Nordstrom exclusive set. And so this came with the shower gel, the deodorant, and the um, cologne. And so I got this for him as well. Those also came from the Nordstrom sale because when the sale comes, I'm trying to buy gifts and everything. All right, so I did buy three basics from the sale, just things I needed in my wardrobe. One was a black camisole. This one is by Halogen. I got a size medium. I bought this because I knew I was going to need it with a blouse that I purchased in the sale. So I picked this up as well. 
this camisole was nine dollars and ninety cents so thought it was a good buy also picked up a bandeau top now if you saw my last haul i bought a yellow short set suit yeah a short suit a suit short whatever so it's yellow and it's shorts and a blazer and so I bought this bandeau to go with that because it has an open back, similar to this top that I'm wearing today. And so I bought this bandeau and it was $20. Um, and this is a size large and I will wear this with that suit. And then every, every sale I buy a new sports bra. And especially because this year, I was at first I was thinking girl you got enough sports bras but I'm trying to not be a fatty anymore and so I definitely picked up another one my favorite brand of sports bra is Waco they just make big girl bras okay like and I'm a big girl up here and so I got this all white one the Waco sport I picked it up in a size I upsized the bands because these bands are really tight um, and I normally get a 34 G but th no I would get a 34 H and this time I got a 36 H so I just upsized my band so those are the basics I got. Now I'll show you the things that I love, love, love that I got and I'm keeping and I'm so glad that I ordered them. I've already worn this. So let me just start off with this top. When I saw this in the sale, I actually put it in my wish list. I knew I wanted it. I picked up this yellow sheer blouse with the navy blue and white trim. Um, it looks very black in this bedroom, but in the sunlight, it's very much blue. And um, I picked this up, and that's why I picked up the black camisole. I wore this into the office with jeans one day and had this underneath. So that was a good buy, and I'm definitely keeping this. Loved how I looked. It brought joy, so we're keeping that. Another item that, whoo, I'm so glad I got it. Now, I think I should have gotten a size medium in this, and it's all sold out, so I can't get it anymore. But I'm going to keep the large that I got. And this is a wool vest outerwear piece. Uh, it's like a vest blazer. Let's see, what do they call this? The belted long line vest. So y'all know I'm trying to get into neutrals. And when I saw this, it looked so chic. It looked like something on my Pinterest board. Like this is how I aspire to dress. And so I had to get it. It was $109.90. Um, it has pockets in the front. Um, you can wear it without the belt as well. It is vented in the back. And I can't wait to wear it in the fall and winter. And I am ready for the fall and winter because it is so hot. I think today it's like 102 degrees. It's blazing here in Houston. Okay, so now let me show you some things that are going back. And these are a big regret, you guys. I'm not going to lie. But I bought these shoes. Now, in mules, sometimes I get a size 8 because I don't want my heel to hang off the back. And so if I normally get an 8, this brand, Open Edit, said go up half a size. And I got an eight and a half. I normally wear a 7 and a half, just so you guys know. And I picked up these stunners. These. Oh my gosh. I picked them up in this blue. Because y'all know this is Spelman Blue. You, you already knew she was getting the Spelman Blue. But then I also got them in the tan. Woo! How beautiful. Y'all, these shoes are so big. They are both going back. 
And I think there was a design flaw. Like I, I was just like, these are too big. I cannot do anything with this shoe. I have to take it back. But before I said, let me take it back, I wanted to see if I can purchase them in a smaller size. So I then purchased the pinks. I'm obsessed, okay? Because yeah, I could have worn these today, but these are size eight and they are too big as well. Like, they flop on my foot like a flip-flop. So I'm gonna see if I can salvage the eights, but let me tell you, there's one pair, one pair that I've got that I get to keep. I bought the blues in a seven and a half, and these are a winner. <laughs> so I am keeping this one pair out of the four pair that I got, I am keeping the blues. I absolutely love this design here. Now I will tell you the overall design of the shoe is a little quirky. I highly just recommend trying these on if you see them for sale, like on the clearance rack at Nordstrom or at Nordstrom Rack. Because this opening is so big, it's hard to keep your foot in. And so I think the only reason why I can keep the seven and a half and they're not flopping off and they're not like boat shoes is because they are pretty tight on the shoe, on my foot, and it's keeping my foot in. I, to wear these, I don't recommend upsizing. And I'm trying to just wear them right now so that my foot gets comfortable in it. Um, but I really, really wish I could keep these as well, but I don't know because they flop. They just, it's, it's not working. They, they are really boat shoes. Y'all know I had visions of wearing these with the vest that I just showed you, but that is a dream deferred. So I don't have any tan boots or I didn't. And so last year I put on my radar that I needed to buy some black boots and I also needed to buy some tan boots. Now I bought black boots in the spring on sale because I always like to buy boots when it's hot outside. That's when you get a deal, okay? But I bought these, they are by All Saints and they, I picked these up for $1.99. They are a camel brown color and they have like a little slouch to them. So, you know, they'll do like the little slouchy thing. Love these. I do like the brand All Saints and this heel is very respectable. It's three and a quarter inch heel. Um, and I picked this up in a size 38, a UK 38 US 8. And these are gonna be my tan boots. And I wish I could find some tan boots that go to my knees, but I have wide calves. And I guess they're not doing tan or camel boots for the wide calves ladies right now. But if y'all see some, please leave it below because I'm looking for some. I also needed a new pair of black flats. Last year I bought loafers. And I wanted another pair of black flats. And so I bought these by Calvin Klein. I thought they were very cute, very professional. Um, go with anything black on black. And I really loved it because I was like, oh, when I wear my YSL envelope bag, which is black on black, they would go really well with these. I picked these up in my normal size, seven and a half. So I always pick up my normal size in Calvin Klein's. And so I bought these from the sale as well, and they were $64.99. And I'm just glad that I found a pair of black shoes or black flats that I actually like. I think I am the most pickiest about black items because I think they're so boring. So this one I felt like had personality and so we're gonna give it a go. I'm gonna show you something else that I'm actually returning. It is this Vince Camuto top. 
I went into the sale definitely looking for blouses. As you can see, I picked up three. I thought that's all you need. I had a yellow multicolor. I picked up this green, and then I also picked up that green, yellow, blue, and gray flannel top that I showed you. So this one is regular price, $89, and in the anniversary sale, it was $58.99. I do think these will go on sale cheaper than that, so I'm not going to cry any tears about it, but I picked up a size medium, and I just don't like how the length of this sleeve fits me. Um, I feel like maybe a large would have fit better. I don't think it was long enough. It was a little restricting. So for that reason, I'm returning this because I don't know if I could even get a size large or if I would want a large because it might be big in all the other places. But the sleeve did not work for me on this, like even under the arms. And so this is going back. The last item, I when I when I opened the box, I was like, how do you look better than you did on the internet, okay? But let me show you guys. If you don't remember, earlier this year, I purchased a Teddy Blake bag, and I got it in my favorite colorway, which is dark gray and this gold hardware, and she is so cute, and she's everything. The only problem is I don't carry this bag a lot. I don't have any shoes that really go with this. Um, and I just felt like I needed a shoe to really to, to, to go with this baby. And in the sale, I found these Kenneth Cole Croc Embossed trimmed in gold platforms yes yeah yes this is this is uh, yes this is what we're doing this is what we're doing this is going to be a beautiful pairing and I'm really excited to get these now I will tell you I'm someone who always loves platforms I don't care if they're in style or not I just pick them up because I'm short and I want to be tall and they are comfortable as heck and so I'm always someone who loves platforms but this heel look at how wide and fat and chunky it is I just love the way this heel is made. They are sturdy. Kenneth Cole made these really well. I picked this up in a seven and a half. These are were $89.99 in the sale. No regrets. Absolutely love these. So these are all the things that I got in the sale, why I got them, why I didn't get more, all the things that are going back. As you can see, a lot of things are going back <laughs> from the sale, um, but we're not keeping anything that doesn't fit. We doesn't. We are not keeping anything that we cannot tailor to perfection. We're not keeping anything that we know is gonna get on our nerves and sound like a flip-flop, and we're not gonna wear for the purpose in which we bought it. And so for that reason, I need to box all of this stuff up and take it back to Nordstrom today sunday while i have time and i will see you beautiful people next week as i say in every video be blessed to be a blessing and i will see you in the next video bye